Hey guys, Steve Kozak. Volunteers, we love them, we need them. But you know, we all know how hard it is to, to, to recruit them and, and to train them and, and to even, well, retain them, right? I mean, lives are busy, there's all kinds of things going on, but what if you could increase your chances of getting your volunteers to stick around? A couple of things that you can do. Number one, invest in them. Show them how much you love them. I don't mean Starbucks gift cards. I mean good, solid training. Take them to a conference. Uh, buy a bunch of books for you guys to read together. Have uh, larger means. Do videos just like these and you can train them and, and get them to understand a, a few other things. They want to be trained. They want to understand more. They like the knowledge. They want to be there. Otherwise, they wouldn't be there, probably. Also, invite them into your vision. Chances are you have this grand vision of where you want to take the ministry five or 10 years from now. Invite them into that space. The more they're in and they can speak into that vision, the more they're going to be invested and likely to stick around. And I know this one's tough, but you have to value and ask for their input. You got to ask their opinion. I mean, like really ask their opinion and not just sort of ask their opinion, but then really not take their opinion. You need to actually ask their opinion and then implement some of the things that they've maybe suggest and be okay with hearing some hard truths. It's, it, it's not easy and it's, it's a whole bunch of humble pie that can be difficult, trust me. But it's worth it in the end because you'll spend a lot less energy trying to recruit and train new volunteers over and over and over again. And trust me, do these things in your life will be almost perfect. Make sure you subscribe, give us a like, give us a share, and check us out on social media. Oh, <laughs> I almost forgot. Maybe, maybe one of the most important things is give them a job. There's nothing more frustrating for a volunteer than to walk into a youth group meeting, wandering around going, I, why am I here? What am I supposed to do? the easiest way to get them to never come back again.